Hey guys, welcome to your next division video. We're going to do some more practice, but with some bigger numbers and some numbers that have some zeros in them. So let's get started. Go ahead and write this on the side of your paper if it will help. This is the way that I remember how to approach a long division problem, and it's totally fine to write on the side of your paper, just so that you do all the steps in the correct order. All right, let's say I had the number uh, 614, and I'm going to divide that by two. And as a reminder, this is what? My dividend, this is the number being divided, this is my divisor. That's the number of groups that I'm dividing this big number into. And up here will be the answer or the quotient, which is the number that one group gets. All right, first things first. I guess. How many twos can fit into six? I think three. All right, three times two is six. I went to multiply, right? I guessed a three, I multiplied what I guessed by the divisor and got six. Now I'm going to subtract and I get zero. Now I need to bring down the next number. So I'm gonna bring down the one and I start over again. I'm gonna guess how many twos fit into one? None, right? Two cannot fit into one. So therefore, I'm going to put a zero up here because no twos can fit into one. Now I'm gonna multiply. Zero times two is zero. Subtract one minus zero is one. Bring down the next number, which is a four. Now watch how my arrow comes all the way down here and I bring down my four, okay? Now, guess again. How many twos fit into 14? Well, I know that two times seven is 14. Again, see how important these multiplication facts are? I'm gonna put a seven up here. I'm going to multiply. Seven times two is 14. Subtract, 14 minus 14 is zero. Bring down. Nothing there, I'm done. My quotient or my answer is 307, which is the amount that one gets. Okay, the amount that one group gets. All right, okay, let's do another problem. So far, all the problems that we've done have come out without any remainders. And a remainder is like the leftovers, okay? And sometimes, oftentimes, you will have division problems that have remainders. So what are we going to do with that? Let's take 69 and divide that by 2. All right? My dividend, the amount that I'm going to be dividing. My divisor, the number of groups I'm dividing it into. And the quotient, which is what I'm going to find which is the number that one group gets. I'm going to guess how many twos go into six. Three. I'm gonna multiply. Three times two is six. Subtract. Six minus six is zero. Bring down. Bring down the next number, which is a nine. Go back up to the top, back to guess. How many twos fit into nine? Now here, I need to figure out how many twos fit into nine without going over, okay? Now, I know that two times four is eight, okay? So I'm going to guess four, because that's a number that's close to nine, but not going over, it's not over nine, all right? So I'm gonna guess four, I'm going to multiply. 4 times 2 is 8. Subtract. 9 minus 8 is 1. Bring down. Nothing there. So I've got this number left down here. This is called my remainder. 
And typically what I will ask you to do is up here by the quotient, put in R, and then just say what the remainder is, okay? Now, I'm gonna back up a little bit because I hope that you caught that I made a pretty big deal about not guessing too high, right? I can't, I couldn't, when I was trying to figure out how many twos fit into nine, I don't wanna go over, right? What if I said 10 is close to nine, which it is, I'm gonna guess five, right? Now I'm multiplying, five times two is 10. Well, I got a problem here. Now, if we were doing integers, we could do this, but we're not, okay? So I can't do this. Therefore, I've made an error up here, okay? I've guessed too high, so I need to guess lower. And I already know, because we've already done the problem, that it's a four that's needed up here. Let me just go ahead and finish this back to the correct result that we had before. Okay? All right. Let's do just one more problem. And then I'll turn you loose for some more practice. What if I had this? What if I had 145 divided by 5? Okay, we can do this. All right, first thing, guess. How many fives go into one? Uh, five can't fit into one, right? Okay, so I'm going to put a zero here. All right, because five can't fit into one. Now I'm going to multiply. Zero times five is zero. Subtract. 1 minus 0 is 1. Bring down, bring down the 4. Okay, back up to here. How many 5s can fit into 14? Well, I know 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 5 is 15. Which one would you guess? Hopefully you're going to guess 2 times 5, because 3 times 5 is 15, but that's too big, right? We cannot guess something that's higher than this number, all right? So we're going to guess a 2. Multiply. 2 times 5 is 10. Subtract. 14 minus 10 is 4. What do I do next? Bring down. Look at that long arrow. I want to see those long arrows when we're doing this. Bring down the 5. How many fives can I fit into 45? Know your multiplication tables, you can do this. The answer is nine, because nine times five is 45. Multiply, nine times five, 45. Subtract, zero, bring down, oh, there's nothing there. We ran out of numbers, our remainder is zero, our answer is 29, so 29 is the number of whatever this is, is the number within one group, okay? I've taken 145, my dividend, I've divided it into five groups, and in each one of those groups is 29, all right? Okay, thanks for listening. We'll keep doing more practice.